Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to some more Dokkan Battle, Team Bardock Extreme Z Area. So the Team Bardock uh, free-to-play units are finally getting their Extreme Z Awakenings, which is very, very cool. Um, these are, this is the same Bardock squad that's kind of like the, uh, the Ginyu squad. Uh, where is that event? Uh, yeah, the, the, it's like this, the Extreme Z area, like the Gin, Ginyu Force Saga, but this is for the Team Bardock characters, which is very, very cool. It's exciting to see that these guys are getting their, uh, Extreme Z Awakenings, and actually, um, oh yeah, I do want to mention that, wait, what? Wait. Wait, I didn't, wait, hang on, what? Oh, oh, this is, okay. This is this is just the old stage. Okay, this is the this is the old Bardock who extremes the awakened with like the LR um a thousand uh, not a thousand day. Uh LR Tech Super Saiyan Goku. Uh you needed him to do that event. Okay, okay. That's what that is. Okay. So, yeah, so we only have two stages right now. This is going to be th they're going to do this the same way they did like the Ginyu Force one where they're going to drop like two stages like every week. So the first week we're gonna have, um, uh, let's see, we have Borgos and Fasha, and then the next week, uh, it is weeks, right, I think, um, the 9th and the 19th, um, okay, they're just making us wait 10 days between these new stages, okay, I guess, um, I don't exactly know what we're gonna do in between that time, but, uh, yeah, thank you, Dokkan, yeah, thanks for you know, pulling the legends. So yeah, we're, I'm gonna jump into these two new stages right now. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna jump into, uh, Borgos, our boy Borgos first. Um, let's just, uh, clear that up. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this list. Actually, I do want to keep in mind that, um, oh, speaking of this, actually, 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 uh, JP is getting an update very, very soon that's gonna that's gonna fix this problem we are not gonna see all these like characters like the triangle in front of them that you oh sorry you can't use this character any any of this dumb stuff in the next jp update you're literally they're only gonna show you the characters that you can that you can bring so that is so good that is so i can't wait for that update to come a global oh my gosh that's gonna be that's gonna be the best. That's gonna be the best. I mean, we have to deal with it right now, but knowing that it's in the, soon, it's not gonna be a problem is uh, <laughs> very nice. So the best uh, leader for this team, or for these characters, would be the Easy Aid Physical Ginyu. However, I do not have him. Um, I can't Easy A him yet. I only have, uh, I don't have enough of the battlefield or is it battlefield am i remembering that right the the gems are whatever the full yeah it's called battlefield the the ultimate clash whatever i don't have enough of these to fully uh max them out see yeah i think you know i might be able to get the leader skill with him you know i'm gonna i'll just do, do this on camera like whatever <laughs> um okay um Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, we only have to do the first one to get his leader skill. Okay, uh, we're gonna use Ginyu as the leader, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sur <laughs> yeah surprising how things work out, huh? Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, Ginyu is the best leader for this, because keep in mind, you do have to bring, uh, aside from his, like, one twenty percent leader, which is obviously the best leader skill of these characters, except for the Team Bardock, they have 120, but... Uh, keep in mind, you have to bring uh, one of the Guinea Force members into here, which is the same thing with the Guinea Force EZA. You got to bring like um, one of the Bardock characters, whoever it may be, into it. So this works out because now everyone will be under the leader skill, which is very, very cool. So let's bring uh, Borgos and uh, Goldo. They're who we have to bring here. And probably let's just bring a lot of tech units, I think, just so we can... Um, you know, do some real good, you know, like type advantage damage. Uh, we can do that. And then this. Uh, hang on. Is Tor Tora, is he supporting everyone? Uh, he is supporting everyone. Okay. All out is key to attack and defense 30%. Okay. So this is what we're going to use. Uh, this should be uh, really, really easy. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, yeah. This is the friend we have to use. We're, they're making us bring Goldo. Okay. Um, if you don't have Ginyu's full easy A, I would probably suggest instead then running Bardock as your leader 
and then like bringing just like the full like Bardock squad. Actually, no, probably the Ginyu squad, actually, no. The Bardock was the play last time. You probably want to just bring the full Ginyu squad with, like, Tech Ginyu as the leader and, like, all the Ginyu Force units. You know, it really might just be smarter to just bring Ginyu Force units instead of all this nonsense. Because the Ginyu Force units, they all easy A, and they're all, like, insanely good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take Bardock off and replace him with Ginyu. But, um, yeah, if you don't have Ginyu as easy A, uh, then uh, bring... Uh, Basically, you know who. So, okay. Uh, let's jump into this. Uh, this <laughs> Keep in mind, that these aren't hard at all. So, we're just gonna, like, one-turn them. Uh, got the bonus drop right there. Very, very pog. I'm glad that they changed that one mission to make it more realistic to get. There's these missions they do with every Stream Z area where it's, like, clear the specific stage uh, ten times. Which is, like, fine, but... You know, sometimes, you know, you just get, like, you know, you get the bone, you get lucky with a bonus drop, and then you end up not, like, you finish getting all the medals before you've beaten it ten times. So, it's like, oh, well, now I gotta play. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's like, oh, now I just gotta play the stage again for no reason to get the mission done, which is just a waste of stamina and time. But recently, they've changed it, so now, uh, to get that mission done, you have to clear the stage seven times instead of ten, which makes it a lot more realistic to, like, get done normally. Uh, let me actually check. It is, um, oh, it's just ten times here. Okay, so just F me. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Delcon. You know, just, I, I swear the other Extreme Z areas are like that, though. Maybe, oh, maybe... I know that this change happened kind of recently on both. It happened during like a, a global NJP like joined celebration, like joined Extreme Z area came out at the same time and that's when they made the change. I wonder if the Extreme Z areas released before that are still like, like the 10 times. Like if this, I don't remember if this, um, this uh, Team Bardock EZA happened before. Uh, this change happened, but if it did, that would explain why we don't have it on global. Uh, oh no, super attack. Ah, so scary. Oh no. Oh, oh no, so much damage. So much damage. Oh, you hurt so bad. Oh no. Oh no, that almost did 10% of my health. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that's just, that's just how these go. Uh, ooh, Link Levels, let's go, I'll take that. Ooh, I'll take that, too, very, very pog. Oh, I'll take that, too, very, very pog. Okay, that's <laughs> all. Uh, alright, there you go, uh, that's Morgos. uh, we're gonna jump into Fasha right now. Fasha is Int, so we're gonna wanna bring, uh, very many physical characters, so let's get rid of these two. Um, we're gonna bring you and you. These are the two required characters here. It's always the... The character who is Extreme Z Awakening in the stage, <clears throat> or the stage in question, and then the you the the gin the opposite unit that has type advantage over them. That's how it is. And let's bring Jason Birder, just so we're getting the full leader skill with like them and like the friend. All right, let's just do this. Uh, otherwise, uh, again, if you don't have um, uh, well, you probably just do the same thing anyway if you don't have the physical Ginyu leader. We got him turn one, by the way, so Fosher is just done. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't make these stages very tough. But that's fine, because not everyone's going to have this full uh, decked out kind of build. I mean, most of these units are free to play, but actually all of these units are free to play. But it feels kind of unfair to count physical Ginyu as free to play when you have to do freaking uh, Battlefield to get them done. So hopefully next Battlefield, I'll be able to um, get Ginyu fully Extreme Z Awakened. Oh yeah, if you have Ginyu extre fully ex Extreme Z Awakened too, that's going to make this even easier, because Ginyu's a monster. Uh, actually, let's see what other people are doing. It should be similar. Yeah, okay, yeah. See, they're like all similar builds. This person bringing the Tech LR. Uh, I, I didn't bring them because I just, you know, they don't have... Oh yeah, you can bring Frieza as your leader too, except only this way, then uh, Fasha, the character you have to bring, won't have a lead. Well, actually, no, Frieza is leading. So she'll have, like, half a leader skill from Frieza, but it's not as good. Yeah, I, I just recommend the Ginyu squad. Uh, that sounds like... It seems like the most sound way to get it done. The Bardock unit won't have any leader skill, but usually I find it's not too difficult to hide them in the rotation because like you see like most of the time we're just like one-shotting the enemy anyways so the, 
The, the Easy A Ginyu squad is strong. They can handle this. They can handle it just fine. So let's see. Uh, oh, Ginyu. Oh, oh, that was the, that was the friend Raccoon. Okay, that's why. <laughs> uh, was that, is the friend Extreme Z Awakened? I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. I know the, the friend units are never rainbowed, but I don't know. Were the friend units uh, even Extreme Z Awakened? I know in the, the Ginyu event, the Bardock's uh, friends aren't Extreme Z Awakened, but, you know, that's because they didn't exist at the time, so. Oh, no, they, yeah, they, yeah, they are. I remember, uh, Goldo was giving, um... Planet Namek Saga, all stats, 77%. So yeah, they are Extreme Z Awakened. Okay, they're just not rainbowed. All right, uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, very, very easy. Uh, let's take a look at our boys, uh, Borgos and Shugesh now. Oh, Bor I'm sorry, Borgos and Fasha now. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, let me just have to deal with these ugly renders. Uh, so yeah, um, keep them. I, I want to mention all the uh, Bardock uh, characters. They're all leading low-class warriors, so... They're not like the Ginyu Force where they all got a different category leader skills, which was, I really like that, but, you know, the, the Bardock's led low-class warrior when they came out, so I don't, doesn't feel reasonable that they changed that, so yeah, really sucky leader skill, um, key 3 all set 77%, or AGL type key 3 all set 55%, uh, passive skill, attack and defense 150%, Plus an additional attack and defense 100% when facing only one enemy. Okay. Launches an additional super attack when facing two or more enemies. High chance of performing a critical hit when there is another Team Bardock category ally attacking in the same turn. And then he's greatly raising attack and defense for one turn. Causes supreme damage for high chance to stun. Okay. Borgos looks good. He looks solid. Attack and defense 250% when facing only one enemy. That's that that's pretty good. And he is greatly raising attack and defense. So I think he could uh, I think he's going to be a very capable uh defensive option. And then in Super Battle Road, which it, it looks like he's also built towards Super Battle Road as well. He'll only have attack and defense 100%, but he will have a guaranteed second super attack. And then, if you're running him with other Bardock characters, he does have the 50% chance to crit in the turn. And he's like, you know, he's still greatly raising attack and defense. So, that's a 50% uh, raise, by the way. So, doing this twice, it's like, he's going to have like 100% attack and defense from super attack. So, not the unit you'd run in turn one, but yeah, he just, he just looks really, really solid for me. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd probably build him full additional, I think is the smartest way to go. Especially with his, like, chance to stun and his, like, greatly raising attack and defense now. Yeah, I think Borgos is, he, he's just, he's just pretty solid. Um, oh yeah, all these Bardock characters, by the way, are gonna be very, very powerful in the Bardock, uh, Super Battle Road. If you haven't gotten that done yet, I think with the Bardock Extreme Z Awakenings, you should be able to get it done with relative ease, I think. Um, all right, let's look at Fasha now. Uh, Fasha, uh, same exact leader skill, except now she's leading int. Key 3 all sets, 50%. Uh, passive skill, attack and defense, 150%. High chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, which is 50%. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres when there's an ally whose name includes Bardock on the team. In all allies, key 3 and team Bardock category allies attack defense 30% within the same turn after evading an attack. Okay, I, I gotta talk about this. I, I heard something about this. I'll do it in a second. Uh, passes, uh, sorry, super attack, greatly raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack defense. That is good. Greatly raising defense for one turn, that is very, very solid. I'm happy with that. So, she looks good. Uh, she gets her um, changing key spheres when uh, Bardock is on the team. That's good. I don't remember if she did that before when Bardock was when only when Bardock was on rotation. But you know that's good. Uh, it does kind of limit her to the Bardock team, but like uh, I, I'm maybe like besides Peppy Gals, I don't think you're gonna be running her. But I want to talk about this. So Team Bardock category allies attack and defense thirty percent within the same turn after evading an attack now i've heard i don't know if this is true don't quote me on this apparently this stacks so if you put her in like oh, well, you don't have to put her in turn one but if she dodges like say she dodges three attacks she's gonna be giving team bardock 
allies attack and defense 90% in that turn. Assuming that she dodges like, you know, three times, but if that's true, that is, <laughs> that's actually kind of insane, actually, like, like, um, that's kind of crazy. Uh, 50%, she has 50% chance to dodge, it's not like the highest ever, but it's better than like the 30% chance to dodge. Yeah, she looks, <laughs> she looks really good. Um, she doesn't seem as defensive as Borgos was. But, you know, the chance to dodge is good. And then if she can, like, build up, like, that attack and defense, like, multiple times. Like, okay, let's say it is only once. I think that would, like, make her a lot less good than I'm making her out to be. But if it is, like, I'm thinking, then she's really, really insane. If it's not, she's just okay. But if it is, that's, <laughs> that's just crazy. You'll have to run her. Only problem with that, though, is that the way she's built, she's basically a slot two or three unit because of the greatly races defense like, like if she gets hit in like the first slot she's gonna take a lot of damage so you'll really want to run her in like the second or third slot so that would only mean like the third slot unit is getting the uh stats buff i mean also her but yeah i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm just rambling at this point but yeah uh i think these both are very very solid units I, I'm very happy with how they built these characters. I I don't have really many complaints at all, or if any. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking of these Team Bardock units. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!